Hey, hey, everyone. It is JNA from the Let's Get Loud podcast. Let's get loud. Hey, let's get loud. Turn the music up. Let's do it. Come on, people. Let's get loud. Um, okay, so I still play that song every day, every class, last oh, song. Okay, and how do your um, clients feel about that? I don't know. I've never asked them. It's been since January. They might be like, okay, time to switch it up, bitch. But <laughs> um, you know what, though? I feel like at least I make it super fun. And I'm like, listen to the lyrics, like get louder today, be proud today. And I think for me, it's a way to help them stay connected. Like for me, I'm like, in, in this moment, we're here and we're staying connected to showing up, to be who we want to be today. And I just feel like get louder about who you want to be, you guys. And they're like, okay, like it, it's a reminder. Do you know what, as you were talking about that, about staying connected, we've been talking so much about that lately. It's such a big part of our summer program, but I was thinking about exercising. And I think one of the biggest benefits to exercising is actually staying connected to who I you want to be like, not the actual calories burned, but oh, like no. you yeah. in that moment is you staying connected to that identity of a person that does things for their health. They're well, I freaking love that. Yes, you're right. Well, I like see that what you're saying. to me is like when I, I, you know what, even, even business wise, I feel like when I walk, it like s- helps me stay connected to like how I want to show up in all mm-hmm. areas of my life. Yeah. Yeah. No, a, a, 1 million percent. I see what you're saying. And, um, I think there's just such a, just quickly talking about, uh, ex- exercise or moving your body. Yes. I think there's just because it's such a big part of like who I am and how, like I see, excuse me, I see its value so much in my life, not the exercise itself, no, not spinning. Okay. But me, studio, talking, instructing, music, I found a way to make it so me. And so, um, it adds so much value to my life beyond the calories I burn. You know what I mean? Um, so I think it's because I love it so much and because it just adds so much value to my life. I feel sad when people haven't found that yet. They haven't found their place when it comes to that almost. Um, So I'm like, keep looking for it and keep adjusting, you know, don't let go of the fact that, you know, that moving your body is so healthy for you. You know, it's so good for you and don't fight that. It's so good for you. Find a way for you to feel like what you're doing is enough. Um, and you know, I finished my express class. It's freaking 28 minutes. Lo, ça prend pas beaucoup de temps. I don't burn a lot of calories uh, anymore every single day. It's not about that anymore. And I've never been this consistent in my life and moved so much every single day, you know, because it's not a lot. It doesn't take a lot of my time and it adds so much. And I know that while I'm pumping that blood, no, 30, 30 minutes a day, it's enough. It is enough it's, for today. It's enough. It's enough for my health. It's enough for what it needs to be. <sighs> But I, once again, society has taken that and kind of went too crazy. Look, hours at the gym and doing this. And it's like, it doesn't have to be that. It literally be could a 30 minute walk every day would be so beneficial to your health. Like what's so upsetting to me, isn't the people that actually have taken it to the extreme. What's upsetting to me is that because that's what other people see, that's what they think they need to do. Yeah. It's a message almost. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, if you go for it, you do you, you want to spend three hours at the gym. I support you. You do your thing. I'm not upset by them. I'm upset by people who do nothing. And because they think they need to do this massive thing, continue to do nothing. Well, you know what? So we're not upset. Yeah. I see what you're saying. It's not, you're, you're not even upset with them or upset with that belief. Yes. There's a belief in society. So that's why, I mean, we're upset with a lot of beliefs, honestly, we're never upset with the people. And even then, like, sometimes I'm, like, I'm not attacking the person I'm attacking the detox. I mean, I'm not attacking the person sharing the detox. I don't care. Like you do you. I'm just, it's just like the belief we need to like, someone needs to contradict this belief that we need to do certain things. Oh, okay. Speaking of which it is May 1st. Hello, May. How fun. Fresh month. Oh, um and it is the officially the launch of our summer program uh and we're pumped about this one because we're switching things up we're changing a little bit kind of how we'd love our members to attack CGV summer how their approach to summer basically we are focused on 
what we know is going to add the most value to your summer life in the least amount of time. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going a little bit specific here and we're asking our members to, uh, obviously it's the staying connected piece that we like stay connected this summer. That's what we know they need. They don't need to do any certain type of behavior to have a successful summer, but what they need is to stay connected because you don't want to arrive in September and you did not stay connected. That's when the 20 pounds come on. That's when the summer fuck it mentality comes in and you regret that's when regret comes in in September. So we want to make sure that we don't have that regret in September. That that's it. Like guys, yeah. we have been there. I have been there. I used to start oh my every God, we... single school year with like one pair of pants that fit mm. and leggings <laughs> until October. Leggings. leggings for sure. All September. Oh yeah. Leggings in September. And there's nothing wrong with leggings. It's just, that's not who I wanted to be. Like, that's not how I wanted to show up. I also like, I need you guys to know that you can actually live a beautiful summer life without the weight gain. You actually can. Yeah. You can have the beer. You can have the chips. You can have the hot dogs. Yeah. And, and not to mention that's how we're talking about how you would feel in September, not to mention how you feel all summer. Oh, like, you know, like so you right. can, you can lie, you can lie and say like, oh, I've just lived the best summer because I ate all the things the, you had moments of like, I don't feel good. I don't, I don't like how I'm showing up. I don't like how this feels like, let's be all real here. So we're like, okay, how can we set them up for success and almost tell them what we know they need? So, because we were going to be like exercise every day, five days a week. And like, there's no meal plan. Like always, there's never a meal plan at your weight loss. There's never an exercise plan. There's never like a plan to follow. But there is some, there is a program to listen to and to stay connected to. So we're like, okay, we know we want them to stay connected to the content, but it's not the content. It's staying connected to the fact that they stayed, they want the connection to it. Yeah. So we're getting a little bit bossy actually. Mm, Yeah. And they like it. I think that they're going to like it. And I can promise you guys, if you do this, like if you actually do what we're asking you to do, for the four months, Mm -hmm. you will be amazed at the Mm. progress that you make, whether that's physical, whether that's Mm. mental, I don't know, but there will be progress. Progress. So that's important, right? Because when you join, you know, a four month, like a membership or a program of some sort, you have a timeline. So this is a four month thing bringing you right to September. We wanted to include all the things. Okay. So pre heat (laughs) middle, you know, you're right in the summer. And then obviously now we're fall. So it's all included. So you're like, okay, I have four months. You want to see progress. You want to see value. You do. Okay. And so in my mind, I'm like, okay, We want to make sure that what we tell them they have to do is doable, is manageable, is something that they see, uh, they will see value within the first week. Literally, if you did that just the first week, you're going to see value. Like, and you think it's easy, but it isn't. So what we're telling our members to do is we want them to give, uh, do we say 15 or 20? I mean, we're kind of filming early. I think we said 20. We said asking for 20 minutes a day. Yeah. We're asking 20 minutes a day. It's not 75 day hard though. It's not a 123 days hard, but it's going to be hard. It's like, going to be hard that's though. The part. Like yeah. if you guys only did this for every day, you're like, Oh, I can do that. That's easy. Mm-hmm. It's actually yeah. not. Yeah. When you think about it, it's actually over two hours a week. So like, you know what I mean? Like, and two hours a week is like, okay, I'm giving you two hours of my time Um, and so, but that's what your freaking detox would ask of you. And that's what they would ask more of that. And so much like it's so it's tellement fatigant for us. What we want to ask of you is 20 minutes every single day, 10 minutes of content, taking in content, 10 minutes of taking in content. That could be half a podcast. I don't care. We don't care. We don't care what you take in and You can take it in while you're walking, while you're doing your laundry, while you're doing your dishes, while you're cooking supper. I don't care. Pop in your headphones and take in content. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And we're going to ask, we're going to actually create like some sort of tracking sheet where the the people can be like, okay, Monday, May 1st. I don't know if it's a Monday. I'm just saying that, whatever. Um, I am listening to Jose's calorie deficit uh, training. 10 minutes there. That's my content taking in. Maybe you're like, I'm going to, you know, watch the 12 minute 
video, <laughs> uh, even if it's more than 10 or like minimum 10. So, okay. This is the content I took in. We feel like that extra accountability or that extra, like, um, uh, taking in note, like note taking, like, okay, I, this is, it's written down. Like, this is what I'm taking in. This is the video I watched. And then we are asking for 10 minutes of reflection a day. And you don't have to do it right after the video. You watch the video. The reflection piece doesn't have to be about the video. It could be about your whole day. It could be about after you ate pizza at your friends. Uh, we don't care, but you need a 10 minute con staying connected to your day moment. And we're asking you a reflection piece to that. And there's a spot to put it all. And mm -hmm. I, in, in my ideal world, I would almost love for you guys to have be reflecting at least twice a day, whether you actually physically write it down twice a day or maybe once a day. But like, I want you to take some time every single day. Maybe it's the night before you think about, okay, tomorrow, what do I yeah. have? How yeah. do I want to show up? What are my obstacles? What can I commit to? Like, I want you to take some time. And then I would love for you guys to also take some time to be like, how did that go? Hot mess. Why? Yeah. Remember we said three, there would be three, there are three um, sections. Sections. And there was daily intentions. Yes. What are your daily intentions today? And it could be like, I'm going to enjoy my family at the beach and to enjoy ice cream without guilt. That is your daily intention. Love, 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 love. Yeah. So what we're doing with our members, you guys, this month, and we're going through, um, do you still, oh, St. John was calling. Um, do you still hear me? Oh my God. There's like, okay. Oh my God. You see me. Do you hear me? Fine. So many things are playing at the same time. It was so weird. Um, I'm going to put, no, don't disturb. Do not disturb. Um, do not disturb. Thank you. Okay. So what we're going to do is we want people to settle in with their goals first. What does that mean? Because goals mm. and intentions are two different things. Mm. So as we're going around with our tour, the conversation we're having with our new members that are joining in front of us and, and all of you online um, is that we're basically saying it's time for you to sit Go, what do you want out of your summer? Is weight loss a part of your goals this summer? Are your goals to create better body image? Are your goals like, what is the goal? And I think that once you can set the, like, what is my ultimate goal this summer? And weight loss can be a part of that. Then intentions comes next, almost like I intend to do this. These are my intentions for the day. I intend to do that this way. Like if your ultimate goal is weight loss every day, your intentions are probably going to be more calorie deficit focused than the person that is not, the goal is not to lose weight in the summer. Um, so that's how you can see that our service is really providing whatever goals you set. Our meetings and our things can go with the intentions and the goals that you're setting. You, you're in charge, you guys, maybe your intention this summer is to work on your body acceptance. Well, yeah. then your intention, your daily intentions should align with that. Maybe mm -hmm. your intention this summer is to really work on your abundance mindset around food. Well, then your daily intentions should reflect that. And you're also allowed to change your mind. You're also allowed to adjust, but it's like, we're going to take, we're going to start big picture with our members yeah. And then we're going to go macro micro. We're going to go yeah. every single day. Yeah. Because every single day. And I, I mean, goal choosing takes time, like yeah. takes reflection, takes like you need, like, we're going to bring up different, like is weight loss a part of it? Don't just say yes, because that's sexy. And that's what you think you should, because you want to feel like you want to succeed at your goal. And in order for you to succeed at your goal, it needs to be the right one. And the one that you're willing to set the proper intentions for. And I'm sorry, creating a calorie deficit in the summer, you will need to intentively attend, like put attention to that. And, you know, so I think it's really important that you realize whatever goal you're setting, that there are intentions, which is really actions. Um, and then you have to stay connected to those intentions. So that's the reflection piece and the content and content for me, the reason why it's so important that like we say, press play every day at your weight loss, just because it's that connection piece to the shit you said you wanted to accomplish and, and to who you want to be. It's not to judge. It's not, you know, and go back to the meeting, staying connected and just listen to it one more time. If you want to that definition of what that means, but we want you to stay connected this summer, but staying connected does not mean losing weight. Staying connected does not mean not camping. 
Like, you know, so it really is important that you realize that. Staying connected every single day this summer does not look like saying no to ice cream, going for the run, do it like it's not an action. Staying connected this summer looks like staying connected. And I just, I keep saying this. I see so often people disconnect from the, the results and the goals that they have. And so often it's from the simplicity of not staying connected to that goal. Yeah. Life is so busy. You guys. Yeah. You Some are. Bit, oh, you are like, look, it's May 1st. Yeah. But what, what have you achieved? What you said you wanted to do in January, your yeah. new year's resolutions. Yeah. Like you, life goes so fast. Time goes yeah. so fast. I yeah. truly believe that every single day we are on this earth for purposes of you're working. You're a mom, you're a wife, you're a this, you're yeah. that you're like, trying to be a healthy person. You have all these balls in the air that you're juggling. And yeah. if you do not set your intentions every single day to achieve this goal, you're not going to achieve it. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You blink it's Thursday. You're like, shit, I didn't do yeah. this. I didn't do yeah. that. Here I am. You, you do have to have that, almost that refresh button almost every day. I, I feel like in order for you, because if not, summer of a fly. And I think that even goals, like even your goal, one week goal could be this week, calorie deficit is a part of my goals. Here are my intentions. Every day I stay connected to that goal, you know, and I stay connected to my intentions. And then the week after could be like my, it's freaking your vacation week and you guys are going camping and PI, bam. Your, your goal this week is not weight loss. Your goal is to enjoy, not feel guilt, uh, be reasonable. Okay. Every day, how do I stay connected to that? So I truly believe like what, what we're creating now for our members is this basically this like program. So it's something that you can print and t- it's tangible is in front of you. Um, and that every week you could really set goal of the week. Like what is my most important goal? Is it, you know, weight loss related or is it not? It doesn't, it's not always a weight loss journey is not always weight loss related. Everything's not freaking the calorie deficit. No. Okay. Um, and that is enough. You don't think it is, but it really is. It's and, not and always I, a calorie deficit. And I think there's going to be such a strong learning piece as well with the daily reflection aspect. So not yeah. only just setting your daily intentions, but taking the time to be like, okay, I really felt like that went really well today. Why? Like, why? Okay. Yeah. It's going to allow you to identify specific triggers or environmental factors that really give you access to success. To success. Yeah. You know what? Like, oh, that went well. I was really well prepared. I had food in my fridge that made it easier. I had bubbly that was cold. So when I was trying to drink more water in the summer, like, or the opposite, like that, that was, didn't go well. I think I let myself get too hungry. So you can identify things that give you access to success and triggers that are triggering behaviors that are, do not align with who you want to be, but you have to give yourself time uh, to do that. And yes. So you have to give yourself time, like actual, like minutes, low minutes to give yourself the opportunity, opportunity to acknowledge and to identify, love that, to identify what went right, what went wrong, and why. And I think that, and it's not wrong, like it happened, this identify what actually happened and then why. Okay. So not good or bad. Um, and I think that that's if when you give yourself that opportunity to identify the actual behavior that occurred and not just what you thought should occur, but what actually occurred. And then you give yourself that opportunity to understand why it allows you to build, build the life that will work. And I think that that's where people are like, what's the secret? I'm like, I don't know. I've just like created a life that's very friendly to Josie, but for me to know what that is, I needed to identify when it was not that way or when I was not, or when it was like, this works for me. This doesn't, this makes me feel that way. This makes me feel this way. The only way that I can uh, connect to how I feel is if I freaking take an opportunity to connect with how I feel and think about it. And do you know what you were talking? It was in this podcast, it was other podcasts, but I had kind of this realization that part of your superpower is you've actually created, it is habitual for you to spend time <clears throat> reflecting. So this is a skill. This is a habit. Like you don't have to think 
or create, like you won't need to fill in this tracker for yourself because yeah. you already do that. But for someone that maybe finds themselves not yeah. spending enough time reflecting, setting intentions, yeah. um, staying connected, this is a tool to create like um, a habit. And, and, and you just have that habit and we're all, we all have different ways we show up. And for someone to create a habit of drinking three liters of water a day is going to be harder for someone else. And it's just simply because we already have that in us or in our routine or whatever. It doesn't mean that neither of you can acquire that habit. It just means someone else maybe is set up better or more equipped or already has that a part of a life more than others. And yeah. drinking three liters of water and staying connected who you want to be, they're both a habit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it, and it's also priority. It's a priority for me to, and it's, we're so used to not prioritizing ourselves and honestly, prioritizing, staying connected is prioritizing you. And I think that that's what, that's what happens all day. We freaking prioritize everyone else. And honestly, like so you and right. I prioritize ourselves though, but we, what we didn't always. So we needed to first say like, I, I'm also on the list of priorities. So like, I, I think that that's the part where we're not, we don't feel like we're being selfish by prioritizing ourselves or taking time to take in 10 minutes of content for ourselves. No. And guys, stop lying to yourself. You're taking in content all day. Oh my God. Think about starting your day. Maybe you wake up. What's the first thing you do? Do you grab your phone? Do you scroll social media for 10 minutes, five I do. minutes? Yeah. What if you yeah. took that exact same amount of time to set your intentions for yourself? So let's say you scroll social media, you see some pictures of, you follow a bunch of people on social media that make you feel bad about your, yourself of what you're not doing. You're like, blah, blah. and then you're, you, you are late and you get the kids up and you're mm. doing the rush of the, like, get ready, make lunches, get out the door. And then you go to work and you start working like, and then it's 5 PM. And then you do the dinner rush. And then you go to the activities, you do the homework yeah. and then you sit on the couch at 9 PM and you were exhausted. And at no time during that day, did you just pause to be like, who do I want to be today? Yeah. How, how did I, I show up? How do yeah. I want to show up? What makes yeah. me feel happy? What fills my bucket? What do yeah. I need to do today? Like yeah. how many people can so connect with just that rat race? Yeah. Pause. And, yeah. Guys. Just pause. Pause. Be present in you know your what? life. I'm really bad for this because I'm so action driven that I find that taking the time to reflect is actually wasting time. Like, I'm yeah. just like, why are we, why are we still talking about something we need to be doing? And, and we need to be doing both, you know? Yeah. Some people spend too much time reflecting and thinking and not enough time acting. And yes, I but they're not reflecting in the right way. Like there's, there's something happening there with the reflection. The reflection well, there's never just, an action. They're just well, all perpetually thinking, planning, searching, researching, looking. See, there's a difference between reflecting on what happened and then asking why and actually putting up, putting intentions after versus just like some people reflect every day in a very victimized, I am broken way that does not bring any, like when I, it's, it's the quality of the reflection is like, you know what I mean? Vraiment. If the reflection is in a way to provide value for the next day or the next action, it, it's, it's, you need it because you could be actionable and still never get, you're like, I'm, you know, like you, it's not, we're not talking about you and I, because the way we're doing it is working, but there's some people where they are actionable, but then they act in a way that is not them. That is not their way. That is like right intense. And then they never get there. But if they would have reflect a little bit more to understand their habit and not just attack their habit, they would have maybe adjusted their habit differently. So it's like, a, it, both are super important. You're so right. Both, both are needed. Both are needed. And again, like I said about drinking water, some people, it's easier for them. Some people like me, it's easier for me to act. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas you might be someone that it's actually easier for you to reflect, but not as, as easy for you to act. So like, yeah. we're all, like we have said before a million times, we all come to this party with different shit, different skills, yeah. different strengths, yeah. different weaknesses, yeah. but creating true change in your life, which is what we want for you guys. We want, we want you to finally accomplish the thing you've never been able to accomplish. Yeah. And we know 
that that Mm -hmm. is waiting for you behind connectedness, authenticity, authenticity, reflection, self-awareness, self-awareness. Yeah. Have and if you join right now, you'll have access to our self-awareness program that we're doing. We're in the self-awareness program right now. You'll be able to kind of do like, it. what an amazing time to join as well, because they can kind of like grab onto the self-awareness, start with like what their story is, their why, like what a beautiful, um, like it's good homework. It's like really good work. Great homework. You know, I love homework. Cause that's an I, action. Yes. Homework is an action. Exactly. And we got to mix both with homework and reflecting. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Because the homework is a reflection piece. Um, And you know what, guys, it's $169 for four months. Okay. I want you to think about if we were to be selling you a five day something, something for $200, would money be even a thing that you'd be thinking about? Or would you be like, okay. (laughs) So I think that we need to like, think about, okay, I am investing in myself And you will be doing so much investing this summer in camping and in your kids and in camp and in this. And I think that we're not, it's that we're not even willing to invest time or money in ourselves in working on who we are. And it would be the biggest life-changing thing ever. And we guarantee progress. We guarantee progress. You will not be the same person in September. If you do your part, we promise you change. We yeah. promise you progress. We never promised anything before, I don't think. No, but I'm like, okay, you want us to tell you what to do? We couldn't tell them what to eat. We couldn't them because that's ridiculous and that's not who we are and that's not the service we want to provide. But we know what is needed to, to what is needed is not egg whites for breakfast. Oh. What is needed is to stay connected. So you want us to tell you what to do? You have to stay connected. And this yeah. is us providing a tool and a service to allow you and facilitate that. Done. Done. Okay. Link is in the show notes. I just can't wait to spend summer with all of you guys. Yes. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Bye.